animals, some of the tallest and also some of the fastest animals in the world. Our first animal is going to be the common hippo. Hopefully we'll get to see it out of the water. It is a semi-aquatic animal, so it does stay about 16 hours of the day in the water. So if you look to the left, just here, you can see just the back. We do have three of them here. Uh, as I said, it's a semi-aquatic animal, so it will remain in the water for about 16 hours of its day. But if you want to have a clear view of them, just after the safari, the roof that you see to the right here, that's the aquarium, where we also have the common hippo, where you can see him through the glass in the hippo aquarium. But this, these animals can actually not swim. They only walk in the water. They can spend up to four to five minutes submerged underneath the water and come back up to breathe every four to five minutes. See the little crown there? Those are the black crown cranes, one of the most beautiful cranes. You can see one of it up there. We will get to see many of them where the giraffes are. We we're supposed to see them, see them on the other side in the African mix. But if you just look to your left, uh, to your left right now, the tallest land mammals, which are the giraffes just right ahead. Those ones that you see are just babies. They are not yet fully grown. When they are fully grown, they can reach heights of about seven meters in length. They are only their ibis, also believed to be sacred bird in ancient Egypt. And we have the, also the trawlers, the largest flightless birds. They have all come. The ostrich, you can just see them right ahead. We will get to see them because there is a predator on the opposite side. So this is how we try and keep their instincts alive. So we'll get to notify you which predator you're going to see that's actually looking at the ostrich right now. We also have got the gems book, which are just underneath the shed again. These are a southern African antelope. All those animals, you'll normally find them in the African mix where, you, where we are going to pass through just after we pass our first exhibit here. To 1% of DNA with them. So that means they are quite intelligent compared to the males. They are known to have killed a lot of hunters in Africa. Oh, no. You will still see some more just here to your left. They are very aggressive animals when provoked. They can overturn a bus like this one or even bigger. 
the rocks that you see. We have got chilled pipes running across them. And you can also see... Oh, no one brave enough to go outside and get a Mommy. Here, Mommy. Okay. Here, Mommy, here. Brother. Brother. So this is our male oh. on, I did say we saw the ostrich on the other side. So these are the ostrich, the largest uh, flightless birds in the world. Although they cannot fly, they can run very fast. Also outrunning the, li the lions and they can run about 76 kilometers an hour. Now the reason for this that they were on the other side, including the giraffes, this is so that we keep the instincts of the lions on. I did say we saw the ostrich on the other side. So these are the ostrich, the largest uh, flightless birds in the world. Although they cannot fly, they can run very fast. Also outrunning the, li the lions and they can run about 76 kilometers an hour. Now the reason for this is that they were on the other side, including the giraffes. This is so that we keep the instincts of the lions. His name is Rera, named after the place he was found in India. He's not albino, he's normal in every way, it's just a genetic mutation which comes from the other orange tigers. They are the second largest threat after the Siberian tiger. For them, so they go and come back. So now you can see the impala, the male one with the thick horns. They are fully grown already. They are adults. Yeah. The far, at the corner. And now into our African mix. Each other. Named after the scimitar sword and their magnificent horns resemble the scimitar sword. They can also sleep whilst they're standing just like horses, but they can do this in the midst of other antelopes to warn them of any danger. And we have the little antelopes that you see, those are the impala, one of the fastest antelopes found in Africa, running up to 90 kilometers an hour. The males uh, are the ones with horns, the one who's just amongst them is one male with the females without the horns. Weak ones and old ones will be the ones which will be attacked. And the antelopes that you see, one to your right, these are the kudu and the ones which are crossing the road just right ahead. Africa's antelopes.